Hey, I'm Kelsey Pollock, true serum If I don't pass true serum that I'm Kelsey Pollock, then I volunteer to be shot in the fucking head. I'm really Kelsey Pollock. I can't take this anymore. You idiots don't understand that you really who I say I am. And, um, listen, there's rumors that you, that figure research switch, I did my research to the CIA and FBI, and you have to do the same thing to the CIA and FBI to prove that, that there's no way that you can take fingerprints out of the computer system and then change them. They're there forever, and I've been fingerprinted since I was a, practically four years old. So I don't know what to tell you. I, I was in really strict, strict Catholic schools and stuff, so they fingerprinted us. So um, do your research as the truth, and listen, I just want to say like one thing, one thing only, like this is really fucked up that you guys called me these names, because now I have to join the cartels. And it's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. I don't, it's fucked up. I'm moving to Mexico right now. I just got to die in Mexico. So they're going to report on it. And not she knows on all the news stations and Vice Magazine and New York Post that I'm dead. They're reporting that I'm dead. And then the others are being dead. And I'm getting news for being the original Harley Quinn from um, Suicide Squad. And you know, it's already all the news. I'm happy to my sister could do your research through birth certificates and child support. That my half to my sister Yolanda from Diane Word, the rap group, is already on the news for um, Suicide Squad copying her. And so um, it's both of us, me and Yolanda from Diane Word, and we're half to my sisters, and we're both original Yolanda Clintons. And so um, there's gonna be news stories about me now, it's about all that. And, um, I'm not happy that people don't understand what is going on because, like, everyone is going to cry and say, understand what's going on. Uh, I understand you know, who I am, finally, and be very sad that they did this to me. And, um, you know, it's just the news is going to be about how I died. And, I would love to try to come to understand why you did this to me, but I give up trying to understand because I haven't done anything wrong. There's an EEG in my proof that my IQ is always been 139. Genius IQ is 132, 130. So I'm very intelligent. I don't understand, though, why you guys don't like me because you guys talk me on my back. I didn't talk, I, I didn't, don't have too many full conversations and um, you know I try to have a, a real conversation with people that nobody can hold a conversation anymore so nobody understood what was going on with me I think that's why and um, so you know my identity is bunk I from 10,000 slippers on the border of Mexico and America if you go check you'll realize that's true so um, the second day my plastic you look like were taken out uh, that 50 of them got taken out that way. And to tell you the truth, like, there's no one that can handle what I can handle. So, I mean, they rounded me up with two trillion calories, and it went to me. Yeah, it's rounded up just as much <laughs> as that. <laughs> so, I don't know why you want to be me, but listen, give me true serum, give me true detector test. I'm Kelsey Pollock. I don't know why you just didn't give everyone true serum who they're Kelsey Pollock. If anyone says they're me, true serum me. I volunteer for true serum from anyone and everyone, and that's law abiding. Like, it's it's now a contract that I have to take true serum from anyone and everyone. I have volunteered for it, therefore, it's a, it's now by the law that I have to take true serum for anyone and everyone. Do you understand? So, true serum, you have nothing to hide. Um, so, I just, you know, I this is what's going on in my life, and, uh, you know, I ran from 8 million hitmen in my lifetime, and that's on record, and the last thing I wanted to deal with was that many cowlanders, and, uh, this is fucked up, you know, all my lookalikes watching, we watch them run me up, or you're gonna die the same way I will, and it's bad, they're saying it's worse than me, told true to death for, uh, thousands and thousands of years under <laughs> the worst yeah. circumstances and that's like a vacation because <laughs> they use 2,000 countries like the government has had to keep people alive for a thousand years and then they, they said that's not as bad as what they brought it up was 
four and it's because my pastor really likes rounding me up so can you please just unround me up like this is sick like even if I was guilty and I'm not this is too sick <laughs> that's how they want me to die for no reason then a girl's being jealous of me and just stupid stuff like people want to be me and like I'm famous in Mexico for everyone trying to be me and to kill me to be me like I'm famous as Lena Morgana for a reason and I said Angel she was copied and then you know they tried to do the same thing with me they tried to copy me and they kill me to be me but the thing is that Lena Morgana, you know, she she focused on her career, she focused on her music, she focused on Hollywood, I focused on surviving, I focused on messing, you know, one thing up for people, which is that I made a sunny, I had a Cypress on the all the time. I don't know if that was funny. It's fun to run down, it's like the morning, and then I don't get out of breath, and that sucks. Like, I don't care. Like, it would be all right if I didn't get out of breath. It, like, it gets boring after a while, you know, like, it's... I'm so relaxing on the sun, I just want to get up. I don't want to deal with it. You know, I sit there for a couple minutes and I just want to get up again. I was just like, ugh, I don't want to wake up. I just would rather lay here in the sun. It's nice. So, I don't know. Like, to tell you the truth, like, I don't want to do all this anymore. And I don't know why people want to be me. Like, everyone's jealous, thinking, oh, well, I'm a Mexican celebrity. Like, uh, that's like, you know, but Mexican celebrities almost get killed all day, every day. You know, like, it's a hard life. Like, me their world countries are no joke. So I don't know why you want to be us. Like, I go, like, you know, there's a statistic that 90% of um, people that are part black that look white like myself go innocently in and out of jail innocently. So I don't know why you want to be me. I have... Um, I, I have so many things on my hair that I don't even know what they are. I, they just, I, I was, whenever I see a police officer, I'm like, okay, officer. Can I at least pick my fake charges? Like, that's why I say to them every time. Officer, hi, can I pick my fake charges today? That'd be very nice. I guess I'll pick marijuana. You know, like, I don't know what else to say at this point. Like, hi. Um, you know, that's why I say every time I see a police officer because they always give me fake charges. I don't know what else to say. I'm just, hey, what? Can I pick my fake charges instead of you picking my fake charges? Can I... Can I pick my fake charges, officer? <laughs> and this was like when I was in Mexico and Sonata. And they were like about to shoot me. The officers were like, really? <laughs> I was like laughing. I was like, really? Okay. How many stoners can a police officer shove in a jail cell and then not smoke? Because I'm totally smoking a bull after this. <laughs> I said that and then they couldn't speak English. I, don't, I just kept on making, making my own jokes. Like, how many stoners does it take to no get out of a jail cell i don't know one can screw in a light bulb but the next can only light a bowl <laughs> like just some jokes how about why does a hippie chick and a hacky sack not have in common the hippie chick moves all the way around the circle the hacky sack doesn't <laughs> i was just saying that i didn't know what else to do i don't know i just i got bored I just don't understand why you guys keep on coming after me. Oh, the troll toe. That was funny. The guy in Mexico that tried to buy his weed under a bridge next to me. I was like waiting there. I was like, uh, okay, bro. What? Why? Oh, why is it's taking so long, bro? And I look around. They really got there. I'm like, oh. They got into my, oh. It's sad. The troll's dead. No one paid the troll toll. I just gonna be like, the troll toll. You should have paid the troll toll, bro. Bro, troll toll. The troll toll. You have to pay the troll toll. Troll toll toll. <laughs> Laughing. Troll toll. I thought it was funny. I don't know. I, I, what else happened? I don't know. I entertain myself with jokes. Um. <laughs> what is the last minute? And. Why do I listen to Because they don't have a douche my life. I'll take truth to take your desk to prove that I came up with a joke, but I'm letting Amy from Twitter like, have it. Because when I was Twitter stuff, so she can, that's the only joke you guys can have. Oh, yeah, why is Kimba Noon sending big, huge missiles that look like penises at her heads in the sky? Because he has a really small dick, so he's trying to overcompensate. Fuck Kimba Noon. Okay, that's all I have to say.